Prozac. Oh Looking back, I think that's absolutely appalling. Child abuse. Yes. I tried several different antidepressants without ever feeling like they were really helping me. It was only later when I realized that they're not there to help you. They're there to drug you into a stupor and make you easier to control. So for almost two years, I haven't touched any pharmaceuticals. And I, will, and I will never, ever take them again. Nor will I support businesses that don't take cash. I pay for all of my daily purchases with cash. Despite the minor inconvenience that my pockets fill up with loonies and toonies. That's real. If you believe that the elites want to implement a global digital currency, and I believe they do. They do. Then the way to resist that is to not adopt the technology. Right. Refuse the technology. Yeah, that's yeah. Right. I also, Cash is and I hope CRA is not listening to this, but I also have not filed my taxes in three years. Yeah. That may not be the most tenable strategy. Meant like a one-man tax revolt might not amount to any meaningful change. I admit that. Perhaps it is not the correct strategy for right now. But when I hear people say that people won't join that movement, what I hear is I will not join that movement. Yeah. We will all need to take risks and to pay a price for our freedom. But without freedom, what are we? Dead! 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 Yes. No life there. I'm not a naturally optimistic person, but I do have hope for a brighter future if we can band together, invest in each other, and create strong local communities. Yeah! yeah. 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 Growing our own food. Yeah! yeah. Educating our own kids. Yeah. And governing ourselves yeah. away from an oppressive nanny yeah. state systematically infantilize us. I have hope for a future, not within the system, but in favor of our own system, our own associations. That our own new normal. Our own new normal. No more oppressive government. That is what gives me hope. Thank you. speakers that are going to come up and, and address you wonderful folks, I would like to take the opportunity to hand the microphone now to Colin. He is uh, here, no, sorry, I know I'm now Colin, because Colin does represent our Hugs for Vermass initiative here, here. Yeah. as well. He's been a great support to all of us, so everybody please, a warm welcome for Colin. What's going on guys? Yay. First, can we please give it up for Kieran? Guys. Yeah. Is the future. That's yeah. 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 To all the millennials out there yeah. that are doing nothing, here we have what I probably assume is a Gen yeah. Z yeah. leading our country. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. That is what we need. Yeah. 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 So proud. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Cullen McDonald. I represent a group called Glorious and Free. We are on Facebook. Yeah. You yeah. can search Glorious and Free. Uh, this speech is not about why we're all here and the many injustices and freedoms that we've had taken from us. We all know why we're here. I don't need to, speech, uh, to speak to you on that. This speech is about what we're going to do about it, and I want to talk about vaccines. There's kind of an army coming down the streets that I spotted right now. I don't know if they're good people or bad people. There's a lot of fucking people. What do you want to do? Just you guys, just bear with us. Colin's gonna keep talking for a few minutes. We're gonna we're gonna see what's going on, and we're gonna let everybody let some people investigate. This is right. Let some people investigate. So we are all on the same page. There was a a group of people spotted walking up the street. That's what. That's the reason we just stopped. 
So there's a group of people walking up the street, and we knew this was going to happen. If they do come, if they are here for peace, regardless, we know why we're here. Yeah. Guys, the group that I represent, Glorious and Free, is about taking action. We all want our voices heard. We all want to do something. But what are we going to do about it? Our campaign is about writing letters. We want to, on June 15th, and for 10 days, we, I just got noticed we're all good, guys. Nothing to worry about. We're here. We stand strong. So, fight for freedom. just really yeah. quickly, before I get into vaccine education, I think that's one thing that's missing from our conversations, is a little education. So, our group, Glorious and Free, is mailing letters to our Prime Minister and the opposition leaders. Whatever your position, whatever it is that you have to stand up and fight against, I invite you, please join our group, Glorious and Free. Yeah. Mail letters right? yeah. to our Prime Minister, where on July 1st, he's going to be faced with a mountain of letters from concerned Canadians demanding what we know to be true. Whatever it is you have to stand up for, please join our campaign, and let's make a difference through concerted action. Yeah. 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 Guys, I want to talk about vaccines now, because from the very start of this pandemic, it's been a very apparent plan that vaccines were very much a part of what this is all about. The first thing that I want to talk about when it comes to vaccine education is the fact that we are told that unless you're a doctor or you have a PhD, you have no right to speak about vaccines. That is fundamentally untrue. Every single person with a brain is able to get on the computer and research to get informed consent. Here, here. That's it. Why listen to me? Although, yes, I'm just like anyone else, I was also a vaccine injured child. I had my childhood robbed from me due to vaccines. And if you know anything about what happens with a vaccine damaged child, that was my childhood. Immune compromised. Chronic ear infections. Thank you, brother. Chronic ear infections, only to develop into learning and uh, attention deficit disorder disabilities. My entire life, I was in pain and anguish, and I, did, I was not born this way. Those people that say it's just your genes, that is bullshit. Yep, that's true. So bottom line, Vaccines should remain and it should always be a choice. Yes. 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 A choice based on informed consent. Yes. Yes. And for those of you who don't know what informed consent is, that means that you should be given all the information that we yes. know yes. about vaccines and then yes. you make the, make the decision for yourself and for your children. Yes. Informed consent is where the vaccine conversation starts. Because we've all heard it. Sa va vaccines are safe and effective. No. They're safe and effective. No. They're safe and effective. They've brainwashed us to believe this. Yeah. But did you know that over four billion dollars in the U.S. alone has been paid out to vaccine injured families? Yeah. Four yeah. billion dollars. If they are safe and effective, why? Yeah. 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 You'd also be surprised to know that here in Canada, we do not have a vaccine compensation program yeah. at all. That's it. With the exception uh, with Quebec, if you are Canadian and you have your child hurt, maimed, or killed from the vaccine, you get nothing. Right. This is not right. right. This must change. <laughs> vaccine companies have zero liability for the damages caused by vaccines. They are many... <laughs> In 1986, when they were dissolved of all liability, they triple the vaccine schedule. The thing to know about vaccines, when it comes to science, we hear they're safe and effective, but if you actually look at the research, there is zero safety studies that use an inert placebo. Not one, not ever. This is not science. Do you, if you know what a placebo is, it's supposed to be an inert substance, like saline. This is not used in vaccine science. This is a crime. Yeah. They use the entire concoction of toxic ingredients with just the virus removed. In some cases, they use the old vaccine as the placebo. That is bullshit. 
So what's in vaccines anyways? Why are they so dangerous? If you, they have many toxic ingredients, such as formaldehyde, polysorbate AB, glycoline, uh, propylene glycol, human aborted fetus cells. Yes, when you get the flu shot, you are injecting yourself with fetal tissue of a human being. Not to mention animal DNA and all kinds of other crap that does not need to be injected into a human or a child. Mercury! The next conversation is about poison. adjuvants. Adjuvants are used in vaccines to evoke an immune response. Yeah. Adjuvants are heavy metals like mercury and aluminum. Right. The fancy words These are for poison. neurotoxins, yep. meaning they destroy the nerves in our brain. Antibody! No body. Yep. Bottom line is that vaccines are a choice based on risk and reward. Now, to do with the COVID virus, we again are all here probably be a lot to do with a vaccine that they want to impose on us. Right. For a virus that we know has an infection fatality rate of between 0.07 and 0.2%, that 99.8 of us have nothing to worry about. Right. No one is talking about the immune system. That's no it. one is talking about what sunlight, right. good food, and exercise can do for you. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Our government has bought 37 million syringes for a COVID vaccine that we didn't sign up for. Not me! They are working with the Chinese, the Freedom Liberation of China, the, sorry, the, the people, li the Liberty, I forget, Liberties, uh, whatever it is. It is the Communist Party of China. They are buying the vaccine that they want to inject us from the Communist Party of China. Did we agree with this? No! No! Did we vote on that? No! Do we consent? No! So what are we going to do about it? Fight back! Join us at Glorious and Free. Yep. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much.